OM Business Network. So much for one broadcast. The campaign for Saturday's governorship elections in the Kiti State, Southwest Nigeria, took a dramatic turn on Wednesday as security operatives were reported to have blocked the entrance to government house. They were also said to have fired tear gas at the governor. Hmm. Elections in Nigeria. We are concerned about this development as you cannot divorce political development from the economic space. Hello there, many thanks indeed for joining us. You're watching the EOM Business Network, indeed the voice of corporate Nigeria. I am Olorugu Elkana Mowari. Today on the program, as always, our communication is on the Nigerian economy. We'll be interfacing with select industry operators about their businesses in relation to the operating environment. Also on the lineup is a press briefing by Emperor Chris Ibe. President and Chief Executive Officer of Tropical Arctic Logistics Limited. On spot on is Demola Adeojo, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Elizade Autoland. And on the face to face is another industry captain, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Sewoma Nigeria Limited, Klaus Okonowski. But first, the business news. This is the EOM Business Network News. Let's start with health matters. Health industry operators and businesses were honored recently at the Nigerian Healthcare Excellence Award 2018. In an exclusive interview with the EOM Business Network News, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of L Lab Limited, Prince Elochuku Adibo, spoke about his company's nomination in the private laboratory service provider category. For us, the practitioners, it means somebody is watching, an umpire. A neutral umpire is somewhere watching and assessing what you are doing. You can agree with me that from the whole country of about 105 million people, and of course thousands of facilities that give health care and even laboratory services, with just about five persons are finally nominated. For us, it means a lot. It means that across the nation, there is a need for you to consistently deliver quality service. And it's only in delivering quality service that people, external bodies, will watch and assess and see. If the quality of service you're giving matches expectations, that's the only way you can get to be nominated to this point. He also spoke on how health practitioners can survive the Nigerian business environment. Surviving has been a decision to remain consistent on quality. The difference is this. In the laboratory in L Lab, no laboratory test can be done without having controls. Controls are things that make you know that your experiment is right. Negative, positive, something that guides you according to ISO standards. But for so many others, it might not matter. Still on the Nigerian Healthcare Excellence Awards, publisher Pharma News, pharmacist Ifanya Atwe spoke on winning the Best Healthcare Media Award. I am very grateful and appreciate this uh, uh, Nigerian Healthcare Excellence Awards. You know, Pharma News was even uh, given some awards before, but limited to the pharmaceutical industry. But this one, this is very comprehensive. And uh, I particularly have been so recognized because in 2015, I received the highest award, uh, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah. 
uh, what happened this year on 20th of June is uh, an improvement on last year. In a related development, in the face of the epileptic public electricity supply, Nigerians are beginning to explore alternative source of power. Managing Director, Wavetra Energy Limited, Peter Ojike, spoke on the uniqueness of the alternative power solutions. When they say alternative source of energy, they also say renewable energy. So it's almost like December, not exactly. Alternative is just like the, let me, it's like alternative. You know, the major source of energy now is from fossil fuel. Like in 19th century, they discovered coal, you know. We realized that we can dig up fossil fuels and heat them to produce energy that is burn them. But that's not how it has always been. Renewable is something we can renew. So this is energy that we have in abundance. You know, let me say it's in inexhaustible. We can always use it over and over again, especially from natural means. And that was the EOM Business Network News. Behold the symbol of evolving intellectual excellence in the African educational landscape. Welcome to Elizade University, located in the serene Ilaramoki, Ondo State, a conducive environment for fruitful learning experience, blended with the engaging contemporary architecture of top class infrastructure. Elizade University, a first class institution geared towards nurturing thoroughbred youths of internationally acceptable educational standard to impact their world with the five established faculties of basic and applied sciences engineering social and management sciences humanities and law and over 25 fully accredited courses with a vision to create a fresh generation of wholesome graduates who would change their world begin the journey to a greater future at Elizade University let's go higher the importance and relevance of the education sector in the development of any modern country cannot be overemphasized, and Nigeria is not an exception. Worrisome, however, is that in spite of the globally recognized importance of this sector, the education sector has remained seemingly neglected. EOM Business Network News spoke to some practitioners in their sector on the prospects and challenges in their operations. Let's talk education. Ayo Yinka Owairu is the director of ST Schools. For me, running a school is not, it's like running an organization. Okay, if you must get it right, it's like running an organization. So because of team building, because of having the right team in place, because of having the right strategies and framework in place, a lot of things, these things are doable. Because when you have a culture, you have a framework, you have a system in place, and you have the right people to do it, it's easier for you to follow the pattern and to enable you get better, you know, year by year. So the culture for this school would be as old as the school itself, even though the cultures get better. And it's, it, can be, it can be tough, it can be challenging because people come in with their own cultures and they want to impose on you what they believe in. But then you tell them, we're old enough, we know, been there, done that, we know what works and we want to insist on what we have. So that would be... We have three main things we're after. Raise a god godly generation with high academic and moral standards who can be global leaders. And everything we do in SD, the programming, our culture is based on those three things. You know, part of what we do to ensure that we have the high academic standard. But for example, we do bi-weekly tests. And we've done that since the school, sec secondary school started. Every second week the child is tested. We have top three, we have bottom three, we have maths clinics, we have English clinics to ensure that even if you're not doing well, you have uh, a way out. You have somewhere where you can go and your foundation can be dealt with because you get children from different backgrounds and once the foundation is a bit shaky, you need to repair it. There's so much that we try to do to expose them to. We have the spas, which is performing arts. We have basketball, you know, we have sports, just as much as you can think of, just to expose them as much as possible and they're not intimidated or or cower when they meet with people from, you know, other states or countries, as the case might be. I have to take the accolade. I'm sorry, I can't, but well-deserved, because 
It's been 40 years of maintaining culture. It's been 40 years of resisting, resisting maybe the system of probably bowing down or backing off the kind of discipline we want to meet out or the hours we want to spend in school. So it's, it's been a long journey and um, I think it is well deserved. Yes, and we feel good about it. <laughs> Let's talk education. Isaiah Omokalo is the proprietor and chief executive officer of LYS Academy. We've been able to create children of higher values, children who can stand there, not just the trained, but children who are future leaders, children who are willing to serve this country, children who are willing to be the best in the educational system, children who are not just going to be there, graduate at the end of the day, not be able to say what, or be able to give back to the community what they graduated for. But we want children that at the end of the time, or at the end of this academic year, they should be able to face the challenge out there. They should be able to stand up with a solid based education. The educational system in Nigeria so far has been turned down. But why we in this children's school have um, been able to see how we can uh, enhance the educational system, not just only um, writing on the board, but trying to take this educational system to the next level in terms of the practical aspect, making the children have the feedback. That is the essence of the Montessori. Not just the writing, gone at those days when we use the writing system. But this time around, it's about bringing the practical aspect, making the students to explore, being themselves, having this um, self confidence, making them to have less supervision, and inculcating the best ideas in them. In this academy, we are to create accountability, stewardship, responsibility for these children to know in terms of a commitment. That's one of the things. Um, those are part of our core values. And um, we are also, we also ensure moral values in terms of the educational system. Because every child must have the moral values. Every child must be willing to learn. Every child must be willing to adapt to its environment in terms of the educational system. And that is where this is taken to. Sight and Sound, Tropical Arctic Logistics Limited with Emperor Chris Ibi, President and Chief Executive. Tropical Arctic Logistics Limited, a proudly Nigerian company, has taken an innovative stride towards changing the landscape of aviation logistics operations in Nigeria with the purchase of a new range of Leonardo AW-139 helicopters. President and Chief Executive of the company, Emperor Chris Baywood Ibe, disclosed this at a press briefing recently in Lagos. As a founder of Baywood Continental Limited, I sold 9,001 and 2008 certified EBC oil and gas service company incorporated in 1989, which has transformed into a conglomerate with a staff strength of over 500. I am bringing a 28 years oil industry to be here in the management of car especially in the areas of efficiency, reliability, and safety. Today is a historic occasion, and TAL is set to transform the landscape of the aviation sector in Nigeria as we commission the AW-139 helicopter, one of our six fleet. TAL is a game changer, and has made massive investments in all key sectors of operation in order to sharpen our competitive edge. He also said the company is investing over 150 million US dollars on the acquisition of six Leonardo AW-139 helicopters to foster a competitive edge in its operating environment. The AW-139 helicopter we have acquired is state of the art and designed for safety and efficiency to service customer demand. As I just mentioned, today marks a new chapter in the aviation sector in Nigeria with our company's transformational initiatives, which is set to record positive results among stakeholder partners. We will continue to consistently evaluate the business dynamics and monitor the relevant sectoral indices in order to achieve optimal growth and profitability for the company. Our helicopter company offers business beneficial service to the oil and gas industry, a digital support charter for designing HNIs. Banking industry, medical emergency evacuation, medevac, 
I meet me to use this medium, this man of the press, to advocate that a swan to the direct contest policy that the federal government through NFDC should ensure and enforce initiatives to support indigenous investors such as PAL for sustainable business growth, which ultimately impacts positively on job creation and other socio-economic benefits. Sewoma Nigeria Limited is a highly reputable company with focus on the provision and distribution of high quality products and services to the Nigerian market. Since 1968, Sewoma Nigeria Limited has been dealing in quality and durable tools, power generators, truck parts and other technical equipment of well-known brands from German, European and other international manufacturers. Sea Woman Nigeria Limited wide range of quality products and services include industrial machinery and generators, automotive and engine parts, well-equipped workshop for repair and maintenance, warranty services for products, support through Sea Woman in Hamburg, Germany, consultancy services, workshop and technical training, transport and installation, maintenance and monitoring, project management, quality management, amongst others. With its long-term market experience in Africa, Sea Woman Nigeria Limited's team of efficient Nigerians and expatriates are properly trained and positioned to provide tailored solutions to its clients' requirements. Visit Sea Woman Nigeria Limited at 6 Badejo Kalesawo Street, Maturi Industrial Estate, Lagos, Nigeria. Telephone number 01 291 8597 090 8115-3015. Demola Adeojo is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Elizade Autoland. Uh, Elizade Autoland is the distributor, sole distributor for JAC brand of vehicles, uh, JAC brand of uh, passenger cars, light duty trucks, uh, buses and um, pickups been operating now since uh, 2013, but we really officially launched the brand into the market in 2017. Five years from now, certainly JAC will be a very well-known brand. Uh, it will be a preferred brand for those who are looking for affordable vehicles. The performance is key in their decision uh, making. Uh, the brand, I believe, will grow to spread all over the nation and uh, we will definitely have um, facilities also all over the nation because we definitely see the vehicle as, as, as a brand that fits basically for anybody who wants to buy vehicles that cares about affordability, whether in the north, whether in the south, West, the car is applicable. And they have a wide range of vehicles, both passenger cars, SUVs, buses, pickups, and light duty trucks. So we cover the entire spectrum of the auto uh, field. And so um, I believe that it's definitely going to be in a brand to reckon with come several years from now. There are several things that is a challenge in Nigeria. One, um, auto financing really hasn't taken off the way it ought to take off. Um, two, interest rates are exorbitant. Then three, the prices of new vehicles are still high because of the unfortunate thing that happened to the economy two to three years ago when the Naira suffered uh, 
uh, a big uh, depreciation when we went from 150 something, you know, to a dollar, to now we are at 363 naira to a dollar. So that has made vehicle prices high. And the fourth thing is that um, there is still used vehicles are still allowed to enter the country without any meaningful form of control. The objective of the auto policy really is to make, is to turn Nigeria into a country that is producing vehicles. That is, we start at least first with uh, uh, assembly of vehicle, with semi-knockdown to CKD completely knocked down and possibly to full-blown manufacturing. But with no check on used vehicles, that can never happen. That can never happen. Because what ends up happening is that used vehicles will always cannibalize on the sales of new vehicles. So unless government has a relook at, you know, used vehicles, then we're going to be going around in circles. Klaus Okunowski is the managing director and chief executive officer of Sea Woman Nigeria Limited. Um, so the company started 50 years ago with um, doing all sorts of business. Um, we always tried to have products in the country uh, for the industry, for the Nigerian industry. So no matter what um, the Nigerian industry requested for and we saw a potential or we saw a product which could um, solve the problem of some Nigerian industries, we imported that and promoted it and sold it. So we did literally everything you can imagine. Um, we had lots of steel on our, on our compound, like many tons of steel, because the Nigerian industry needed steel, so we imported that and sold it. And um, at the moment we are, we are good in outdoor equipment, we are very good in automotive um, equipment, uh, lubricants, filters, steel equipment, um, forklifts, um, because at the moment the, um, the industry here in Nigeria requests a lot of these, um, of these products. So we are the partner for high quality uh, products for the Nigerian industry. Our mission is to A, get high quality products in, train our people so that they come along with USPs to our customers and convince them to invest more money in high quality stuff than not so much money for cheaper stuff which will not do the job our products do. That means a lot of training is involved, A, for our people, as well as training for the people of our customers. So we do a lot of training. And sure enough, we want to have much more people on board than we have today. That means we are creating jobs. There will be much more jobs here at, at Sea Woman because we want to get in much more product lines. There will always be a competition, especially in Nigeria, because um, um, the trend in Nigeria, unfortunately, still is to go after cheap prices. And thank God um, there is a turnaround um, that Nigerian companies now um, look into what is the product doing for us. And we have to come up with um, arguments to justify the higher price. So we have to come up with USPs, what can the product do and how long will it serve um, our customer. And many, many Nigerians now um, understood that they get what they pay for. And that means when they, when they get a very cheap product, it will not last very long. So they have to get it again, and have to get it again. And we, we can promise that our products will last for a long, long time. And B, we have the perfect after-sales service for our products. So we have a complete, uh, we have a complete program for our customers. 
and it's just we have to convince much more companies to invest in that and we're on a good way there. Whew. <laughs> I mean, com coming from German, American companies, um, it, it is of course <laughs> a fully turnaround if you work in Nigeria. So we are starting from the scratch. So the ICT in, in Europe is much better developed than in Nigeria. So what we are doing, of course, I see the importance of that. Um, we are trying to implement uh, measurements and processes in order to to strengthen that topic. But it is it is still a long it is still a long way. I have to say. Uh, it's it's very difficult if you don't know the right people and the right channels to get your goods in at the time you want to get it in. Once you cleared customs in our famous port in Lagos, you have still struggling that you can get the container out of the port because transportation, uh, transportation problems, um, the congestions, the roads are bad, uh, trucks are breaking down, so it could take weeks, worst case weeks, uh, until the container which cleared customs is on our premises. So this is a big problem. So it's a re reliability to get the products into a country it should be improved. But the access to um, these individuals is still a challenge for us. Uh, and once you have the customer, you still have to be very careful just giving your products away. Because it could be the customer disappears and you have a lot of debts. So this is another challenge and um, well, many of the Nigerians, they don't have the background, they don't have enough money to pay up front or to pay when they receive the goods. So we have to kind of find a way to please everybody, please the customer and of course please our supporters and make us still remain in the market. And that's about time we permit on this week's package of the EOM Business Network. Thank you for spending your precious time with us. We hope it was worth your while. But just in case you missed out on any aspect of it, then you can come with us to eomcoms.com. I sincere gratitude to our sponsors for your continued interest and support. Always remember, we are charms. Oh yes, I remain Ologu Elkana Moari. Please, let's do this again. Same time, same channel next week. We'll see you then.